Hello, hello, my name is Callista and welcome to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. This is the 2012 visual novel adventure game developed by Spike Chunsoft and it is, of course, the sequel to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, which I finished a blind let's play of earlier this year. I have been so excited to play this. Quite frankly, I have been lusting after this game. Every single time I open up Steam and I see it sat there in my library, I've just been like, Sue, one day, eventually, I will get to play you. And today is that day. And I am so excited. I absolutely loved trigger happy havoc and i am so i'm just so curious i'm so intrigued to see where the series could possibly be going i know literally nothing about dang and romper 2 i had how do i want to word this i knew a couple of things going into trigger happy havoc i knew that there was an ultimate detective for example um oh god it's I'm really struggling to remember the, the things I had been spoiled about for Trigger Happy Havoc. I, I mentioned them at the start of the, of the Let's Play, but there are a couple of things I knew. I know literally nothing about Goodbye Despair. The only thing I know is that Makoto's voice actor is in this. I don't believe he's voicing Makoto. I believe he's voicing another character. But that's literally it. I have no other information about Goodbye Despair. I don't know if this is a prequel. I don't know if it's set... Like, this could take place a couple of months after the first came. It could take place a couple of years after. I have literally no idea. Now, I was told ahead of time to skip the opening animation, just like the first game, a little animation played when I launched the game. However, I was told to skip it. I did. I presume there are major story spoilers in there. I'm not too sure, but either way, I skipped the opening animation. Now then, I do have a couple of little notices that I want to get through before I start the Let's Play proper. If you're sat there thinking, Callista, I don't care about the notices. I just want to get to the gameplay. Well, hold your horses, hold your horses. A little uh, pop-up should be uh, appearing in the bottom right-hand corner, giving you a timestamp. Just skip ahead to them and we will be uh, sorting out the uh, difficulty settings. However, before that pops up, I have one very important thing to say. This is, I want everyone to hear this. This Let's Play is blind, so please be kind. Please don't post story spoilers or anything of the like in the comments. One of my favorite things about Trigger Happy Havoc was theorizing, trying to solve the crimes, trying to figure out the, the greater mysteries. That was really where I got most of my enjoyment from in the first game. So, you know, please don't post spoilers. If I have a theory and it's wrong, please don't tell me it's wrong. The game will tell me that I'm wrong. Or if I'm right, please don't tell me I'm right. I want the game to tell me. I want to find out at my own pace. Okay, so just once again, this Let's Play is blind, so please be kind. And if you really want to skip the other notices, the timestamp should be appearing right now. Okay, you can go ahead and skip. For everyone else who is staying, the other thing I wanted to talk about is that I am a very opinionated person. I did not realize I was quite so opinionated until I played Trigger Happy Havoc. However, as it turns out, I am very opinionated. And if I am loving this game, I will sing its praises unendlessly. But if I'm not loving it, I will make those feelings known. And the same goes with characters. If I find a character I love, I will talk about them non-stop. But if I find a character I hate, I will slag them off so much. And if the character I hate happens to be a character that you love, my feelings do not invalidate yours. 
I, I want to get that out there now. Our feelings do not invalidate each other. If I love a character you hate, or I hate a character you love, your opinions are just as valid as mine. And I am always happy to talk about those opinions in the comments. I am more than happy to discuss them with you. But if the only thing you want to tell me is, I think you're a stupid bitch because you don't like Kyoko, that will not be tolerated. Yes, I got that exact comment on Trigger Happy Havoc. I did not like Kyoko and there were some people who got very offended by that. So I just wanted to get that out very quickly. I will talk about my opinions and if I hate a character you love, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not going to keep that quiet. I'm, I want to discuss. I like talking about the characters. I like talking about what I think and feel about them. And, you know, th there are going to be some characters I don't like. My apologies. Okay, and with that, I think I'm good. Let's get started. Okay, we want to go into new game. And the first thing I am gonna do is I am gonna turn the music down. I am being deafened right now. Let's, uh... Background music, SFX, that's... That's probably re... Let me just... Oh no, the background music is still very loud. Gee, why is the... Why is the music so loud up in here? There we go. Uh, yeah, that... That seems about re- okay. Okay. Nope. From the beginning and there's Hope's Peak. There it is. Oh. We're returning. We're going back. Uh, audio in English, please. Okay. Logic difficulty. I am going to- no, 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 no. I would like to set that to mean more choices during the arguments. Perfect if you're good at solving mysteries. I think I am. Maybe. Hopefully. I've been told that the mysteries in Danganronpa 2 are a lot more difficult than they were in Danganronpa 1, and I am eager for a challenge. Also, uh, I'm kind of setting logic to mean because I am going to set action to gentle. I am not... I'm not the most coordinated of people. I am clinically clumsy, and... I, I just can't. <laughs> I can't with, you know, quick times and all that gubbins. It's really not my thing. So action difficulty gentle, but we're ramping up the logic difficulty to compensate. I think that's pretty fair. Yep, I'm good. Hey. Makoto. <laughs> hey, dude. Can you hear me? Oh. Are you okay? I don't know. My vision seems a bit fucked. You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Oh? Uh? Also, I do voice. I do voice the ellipses. Hey. Are you listening? Huh. I don't understand. Why am I here? Hmm. What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. Hmm. Huh? That's right. I... I... Oh... Well, that's a bit meta. Oh! That 
that day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. Oh, hey! Oh God, can I, can I remember what? Okay, it wasn't H. Q, there we go. Hello there. What's your name? And when that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Hope's Peak Academy. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope, and in doing so, shape the future. This sounds very familiar. Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, If you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life, yet this... This is very reminiscent to the beginning of Trigger Happy Havoc. It's not word for word, but Makoto said something very similar. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else. The truth is, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. No! I want to know secrets! Even the game is like, ha! Ha, <laughs> we're not going to tell you. You'll find out soon enough. And it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Mm. Why do I think this is going to be the key to solving everything? We're just going to tease it right at the beginning. And then this guy's ultimate is going to be... It's going to be the thing that cracks the case. Whatever, whatever I mean by the case. The game, the story, whatever you want to call it, but... God, this guy must have an amazing ultimate. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Okay. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. Hajime Hinata, well it is a pleasure to meet you. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. Mm. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. I've got to admit, my first impressions of Hajime are very positive. To be honest, I really didn't like Makoto all that much. I He, he, he just seemed like a doormat. For a lot of uh, Trigger Happy Havoc, I referred to him as Kyoko's bitch. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did, because it was true. Um, 
with Hajime, I'm I'm already getting that he's more of a go-getter. It was his dream to attend Hope's Peak, and he made that dream come true, whereas Makoto just seemed to be a bit wishy-washy. He was very go-with-the-flow. Oh, I'm so painfully average and all of that. So yeah, I'm I'm really liking the sound of Hajime. That's why, to feel like a member of society, oh. to become someone I can be proud of. I always wanted to... Uh... For that reason alone, I always wanted to... For that reason alone, I always... Always, 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 always... Oh, ways until now, I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why hope... I might have admired talent individuality, but I have finally, forever, er, tried my best. Finally come true, Thimbleton. Huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Uh. Uh, I... okay. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. I've got chills. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on, but I have chills. Need? What need? No, I should hurry. I... I'm going to be honest, I'm not paying attention to anyone except one person. Scroll back. Scroll back. No! Biakia? I... One, why the hell is Biakia here? Two, when did he get so chubby? I d I- Oh! I am conf- Okay, I'm gonna look at other people now. Two ladies on the left. They are cute. Emo guy at the back. Okay. God, this is a very interesting looking cast. I'm still in- sh What the- What the hell? Sir, what the hell? Add- You know what? Uh, but, but, but it was cute. Let's, let's grab that. Let's grab that. Okay. Oh my. I'm, I'm shook. I'm shook. Uh huh? <laughs> Thank you, Hajime. Huh. Who goes there? Hello? Uh. Um, are you feeling all right? You look quite pale. Uh, um... Hey, could you be... You're also a freshman at this school, right? Uh, then... You're all... See for yourself. We're all freshmen, too. These guys... Everyone? The freshmen who were accepted into Hope's Peak Academy? The Ultimates? I assume... Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? <laughs> Sir. Sir, I'm... I liked Byakia. I hated him at the beginning. But at the end, Byakia was one of the few characters who kept me sane. So, on one hand, I'm like, buddy, you're back. On the other, I'm like, what the hell happened? And then there is, there is a part of me. 
There is a part of me that is in a cold sweat thinking if Byakia is here, then that means she could be here. And I was told, I was told that bitch didn't make an appearance in this. I swear to God, if Kyoko comes in through the door, I will cry. I don't want to have to put up with her. If it, if it's just Byakia, I can cope, but none of the others, please. Oh, oh, now, now we hit, now we have the struggle. The struggle begins. How am I going to voice all these people? Oh God, what was, Byakia was just, he was just posh. That's how I voiced him. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Uh-huh. Uh, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. Hajime! Hajime, I respect you so much for that. Yes, be confident. Be confident, dude. Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my very best to act cool. I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Hmm. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. I have thoughts. I have thoughts and theories. I'm not going to share them yet because this is the first episode, but... Ooh, this is intriguing. As if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Um, excuse me. What? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so... Is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hmm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear now. Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. Oh god, how- Girl? Girl, who is you? Who is you? I like your hair though, very cool. Oh, I- I think I'm gonna try and go valley girl for her. Huh? Is this everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. Such ignorance. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. Oh, Byakia, I... Oh, I missed your smarm. I missed it. Mm -hmm. How am I supposed to gauge your voice from that? But I don't know. I don't know. He sounds American. And just what are we going to talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom. <laughs> First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? How long was it before people started realizing that memory shenanigans had happened in the first game? We're like 10 minutes in and it's already being brought up. Oh my god. Eh? We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So, before you realised it, you were in this classroom. Then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. 
Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? I wish you could see my face right now. I'm just I'm just sitting here with me mouth agape. I can't believe this is being brought up so quickly. I I like it. I approve. It's different from the first game, but I'm Ooh. What's going on? It sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey. Hey, what do you mean stupid looking? So in other words, the moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here and you don't know why. <laughs> that is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? That happened to me too, but... Huh? Eh? Uh, that dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness? That's weird. Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence, then? Huh? Hmm? So in other words... Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. H who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. Huh? Huh. I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Memory loss doesn't sound like a huge deal. Excuse you. Huh? Oh, God. There are so many people and none of them are speaking. I need to know how you all sound. Ah, oh, I feel... I, this guy looks kind of weaselly to me. W what do you mean? So what I mean is... I mean it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. Oh shit, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. What's that mean? Huh? What do you mean we can't leave? Impossible! What was- I saw the word Teru pop up around him, excuse you? Huh? S seriously I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but- Clatter, clatter, clatter. Huh? It, it won't open! I can't open it! Huh? Huh? Why? <coughs> A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. Sir? Sir TMI? <laughs> but that door wouldn't budge at all! Hey, hey! Hey, hey, what's going on? Sheesh! Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. What? Okay, hello. And what do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. She's right, it's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. <sighs> Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Oh, I... I've just realised I've kind of given her Kyoko's voice. I'd... Please tell me you're not Kyoko too, Electric Boogaloo. I, d I can't... Oh, she's giving me Kyoko vibes. She's only said one line, but like, look at her. I'm... Please. Please. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt until I get to know you, but I swear, I'm... I'm not dealing with another Kyoko. I'm not. I refuse. Locked inside? What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? M maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous. 
this is. How do I voice you? Because you sound so similar to Makoto. But I gave Makoto my voice, and now I'm giving Hajime my voice. How do? How do? Also, I like your hair. I like the, the white going into red. Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? The entrance exam? You mean Hope's Peak Academies? However... Oh, she's cute. She's cute. But, according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. But... They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this actually is a special entrance exam. That's wrong! Hello? Ah, you're wrong! This is not an ex- da da ba da ba my apologies, there will be tongue fumbles. The first tongue fumble of the series, aha. Ah, you're wrong. This is not an entrance exam. What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard. Okay. <laughs> God damn. Oh, how d I Who is you? Who are these people? Hey, fat ass. Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? Then whose is it? Um... Um, it's actually mine! <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps... It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! Alright! I see everyone has arrived! Let's begin! Oh, well, isn't this familiar? The fuck is that? What is that? Um... It looks like a stuffed animal. That's right! I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal! Magical Miracle Girl Usami! A.K.A. Usami! Okay! I don't trust you! I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher! Can someone break a window, please? Are the chairs nailed down to the floor? Can we please break a window? Nice to meet you all! <laughs> huh? Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? <laughs> eh? That's a chihuahua? Everyone! Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft! <laughs> that's what I am! A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot! <gasps> Hold on, let me process this first. Ta-da! Okie dokie! Um... Um, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. <laughs> it's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like so Oh my god! <laughs> what? Has- has the age rating changed? I have no idea what the age rating on- Trigger Happy Havoc was, however, I do not remember language such as this. I do not remember language such as this at all. It's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. Even if it's remote controlled, doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. 
More importantly, based on what it just said... Come on. It seems you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. What did you say? School trip. Come on. Hey, what do you mean, school trip? <laughs> a large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. Ding, 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 ding. Now, let's depart for the fun school trip. Depart? I like this music! Hello! I, d I have so many thoughts about what just happened. I have too many thoughts about what just happened. However, I am just about out of time for this episode in the next one. Where the hell are we? Why are we on a beach? Why is a rabbit our teacher? Maybe some of those questions will be answered. But until then... Please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.